One of the standard kind of relationships that ecologists will study between two species in a community is something called a symbiotic relationship. Symbiotic relationships are when you have two organisms that live in close contact some or all of their lives. Now, stereotypically, is just mutualism and commensualism. Some people will also include parasitism, and I've even seen some tests or textbooks that include predation. So I'll describe all of them so you can see how they all interrelate. Mutualism is basically when two different creatures both benefit from their relationship. There's many examples of this in nature. For example, cats and humans. Cats get nice uh, shelter, we feed them. What do humans get? Well, they hunt down rodents for us. And in modern times, they've actually uh, found that having a cat helps reduce the amount of negative uh, emotions that people have, similarly between dogs and humans. Other examples in nature might include uh, lichen is a common example given where you have a fungus and an algae actually working together. The algae provides uh, glucose from photosynthesis while the fungus provides water and minerals from the rock that it's breaking, able to break down for the algae. Now with commensalism, commensalism, you wind up having one organism benefit without hurting or helping the other. Um, some common examples of this might include, um, oh, for example, birds nesting in a tree. They get the benefit of protection from predators up in the tree. This doesn't really hurt the tree. It doesn't help it. Now, parasitism, that's where one benefits and the other is hurt. And there's lots of examples that you can think of for parasites, like tapeworms and roundworms and hookworms. Lots of different kinds of worms act as parasites. Now, again, predation is not commonly thought of as a form of symbiosis, but you hopefully know what that is. That's where one benefits because it killed the other and ate it. That's symbiosis.